when you start to write, give a dramatic, it gives a dramatic effect to the reader or the listener. Let's start. Simi. Okay. Um, who knows what is simile? Mohammed, I mean, you know what is simile? Yes. What is it? For example, the teacher is funny as uh, something that's funny. Yes. Okay. Uh, simile, when you compare, thank you so much, Mohammed, when you compare two things together or two to whatever, two people together, two things together, but comparing two similar things together using as or like. So when you use as or like, we call this simile. Let me give you an example here. Okay, the commander roared like a lion. You know, here the word like, and here the word as, the old man was as wise as an owl. The word like and as here, because they are here, you will say that this is definitely it's similar. Here they are comparing a commander to the lion to show us that this his voice was while shouting, his voice was very loud, like when you, the lion roars. So it shows to show that his voice was very loud. You know, an owl. Um, Old man was as wise an owl. You know, sometimes yeah, they use in the cartoon, okay, that they bring an owl and uh, let uh, this animal wears a whole, a, a eyeglasses um, as a sign of wisdom. So uh, always the owl you know, uh, is related to wisdom. So uh, they are saying that this man is, was as wise an owl. But as here shows that this is, Definitely, it's simile. Type a metaphor. A metaphor. It's like the simile exactly, but without using as or like. You compare two things, but they are not similar, but without using as or like. Let me show you an example. Her voice was music to his ears. Here, I'm comparing her voice to the music. Okay, but I didn't say her voice was music, was like music to his ears. I didn't use here like. I compared her voice to the music, okay, to show that she has a wonderful voice. Life is a roller coaster. You know the roller coaster, for fun fairs, baby, it just goes up and down, up and down. So they are saying that um, life not always, um has the same level or um, the same consequence. Sometimes the, you have very good days and sometimes you feel a little bit depressed. For it, it's like the roller coaster. It goes up and down, okay? Fahina, we didn't say that life is uh, as a roller coaster. No, life is a roller coaster. Comparing these two together, so we call this metaphor. What else? Personification. A personification is giving the characteristics of humans to non-human things. What does it mean? I suppose that we as humans, we have qualities, okay? But when I give the quality of a human being like me and you, Yamur, and you, Ya Muhammad, I'm giving the qualities of a person to a non-living thing, that's what we call personification. An example of this, the flower danced in the wind. I can dance, you can dance, but flowers cannot dance. So here I'm, go, I'm giving the qualities, our characteristics of um, human beings to non-living thing like the flower. When I say the fire swallowed the whole forest, I have a mouth. I have a throat, I have an uh, esophagus, I have a stomach, so I can swallow because I'm human, okay? But fire cannot swallow. Here I'm giving the characteristics or the qualities of a person to a non-living thing, which is the fire. So what this is what we call personification. 
Do you understand up till now? Yes. Okay. So yes. Uh, uh, let me let me see. Iman, Iman Ismail joined. Hi, Iman. How are you, honey? In which grade are you? I'm Rahaf. Rahaf? Because the name. Yes. Is Iman, okay. Iman, the name of my mother. Okay, hi. How, uh, how old are you, yeah, Rahaf? In which grade are you? I'm uh, six and uh, I eleven. Years old. Okay, Yeruhi. So you are uh, in grade six. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Hyperbole, it's when you overreact, when you exaggerate, okay? When you give yani, something which, yani, and your behavior is uncontrollable. Who, whenever you see exaggeration, you can easily say that this is hyperbole is used. Exaggeration, habibi, means overreacting. Or um, your, as I told you right now, your behavior is uncontrollable. Like here, when I say, مثلاً, the bag weighs a ton. There's no bag that weighs a ton, abadan. Yani, so why did he say this to his exaggerating or she's exaggerating to say that it's really heavy? So this is what we call hyperbole. I've read this book a thousand times. No one can read a book for a thousand times. Okay, because it's, yani, this is exaggeration. This is um, uh, yani, he, over uh, yani, something uh, when you overreact uh, or uh, say something that uh, not real to show that this yani he feels he felt bored he don't want, he doesn't want to read the book anymore I said, suppose that i have مثلا, a student that kept on uh, neglecting his homework so i'll tell him next time if you will not do your homework i'll kill you this is what we call a hyperbole. I, I never ever kill anyone because he, he or she doesn't do the homework. Um, and this is what we call um, يعني, overreacting, okay? Hyperbole, exaggeration. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is the sound, sound of something. When you hear it, um, you you can find like sound written words whose pronunciation is the same as the sound in which they refer. Let me show you an example. The building collapsed with a boom. Here, boom here, it's onomatopoeia. It's the sound of the building when it collapsed. Uh, his phone keeps buzzing all day, buzzing. This is onomatopoeia when i say ding dong the bell is ringing please go uh, see who's there so ding dong this is onomatopoeia it's the sound okay okay alliteration and alliteration habibi is the repetition repetition of what of the same sound or letter at the beginning of the word and you have um, a sentence um, the, in this sentence, you have lots of words, and these words they um, have the a repeated letter at the beginning of each word. Let me show you. Well, letter there let me put consonant. Yani it shouldn't be a vowel abadan. She sells sea shells by the shore. Can you see here? The S that is repeated several times at the beginning of the of the letter. That's what we call alliteration. The sleigh, snake, slithers slowly in the sand. S -s -s -s. Okay, so that's what we call alliteration. Repetition of the cons repetition of a consonant letter in more than one word at the beginning of the word. 
type, el idioms, el idioms like um, you know the traditional sayings or uh, yeah, eh, eh, traditional sayings like uh, um, the old people used to use them. Um, the old expression they are uh, expressions in which a meaning is expressed in very different words from the actual. Like what? When I say get ducks in a row. When I say get ducks in a row, that means that please organize your stuff. Don't leave everything just in messy like this. Okay? When I say masalan, maybe uh, it is raining dogs and cats. Okay, our cats and dogs. That means it, it is raining heavily. Okay, so this is what we call idioms. Yani I'm saying something and I mean with it another thing. The last thing is the oxymoron. An oxymoron, when two words come beside each other and they are opposite to each other, showing two words, two words. Just a minute, let me... Let me put here this. Okay. So showing uh, showing two words that are opposite to each other, beside each other, like they here. This is what we call oxymoron. Wake up dead. Dead is the opposite of wake up. Bitter sweet. Bitter is the opposite of sweet. Pretty ugly. Okay? So, but this is to give exaggeration. Kida. So, pretty ugly, better sweet, wake up dead, kulul, with we call exaggerate. I mean, uh, oxymoron. Oxymoron showing two opposite words coming after each other. Okay? Let's practice. Now it's finished. So, let's practice. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. Okay, it's here, Habibi. Okay. If you see see the screen, just tell me. It's clear. Okay, is it clear? Yeah. Let's start. Okay, who wants to do the first one? Yeah, and you can go by yani yeah, by random order, man, no problem. Who wants to participate? Yeah. I'd Should like to try. Yeah, okay, please. Okay, um, okay, giving human characteristics to non living things, uh, personification. I love you, I love you, Noor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are my personification, so let me put it here. Okay, yeah, uh, showing two that are opposite to each other, giving human characteristics to non living things. Let me ask uh, Rahaf, Rahaf, can you do any one of these? Habibzi? Choose anyone that you know. Metaphor. Which mm. one? Met metaphor. Which metaphor. one is the metaphor? Which one is the metaphor? With which definition? Definition. What? Yes, it's I'm uh, reading uh, it. Now, let me tell you something. Do you know when you compare two things using the word like or as, what should we, uh, what should it match with? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Comparing two things, not using word, um, sorry, using word, using. Used to compare two things using the word like or as. Okay. Uh, no. Huh. 
ليه؟ محمد زير؟ يس I thought that you left him, Muhammad. I thought that you left. I'm sorry, Muhammad. Yes, huh? Which one do you want to? Uh, yeah, uh, do you want to choose anything? Metaphor comparing two things, not using the word. Like or not? Excellent, Habib. Excellent, excellent. Okay, yeah. Phrases that um yeah, huh? Hena. Who can tell me what is extreme exaggeration? Hmm. Excellent where mimics that sound, sound, huh? sound of an object or an action, or repetition of beginning sound in the word close uh, together. What do you think? I'm um, showing two words that are opposite to each other. Oxymoron. Oxymoron, excellent. Oxymoron is showing. Two words that are opposite to each other. Excellent, Yeroh. Huh. Um, Muhammad. For me, idiom. We have idiom, alliteration, or onomatopoeia. Okay. Uh, idiom, I think repetition, yes. I, I, I can't hear you, Mama. Uh, uh, idiom. Repetition of be, beginning. Is it an idiom or an alliteration or an onomatopoeia? It's not idiom. Onomatopoeia. Alliteration. Ah, yes. Alliteration here, repetition of the first sound several times. Type yes. Mimics of sound of an object or action in the formula and phrases that do not have a literal meaning. Yeah, it, it means another thing. As when I told you about the dogs and cats, when the when it is raining dogs and cats, fish some but not dogs and cats, but it means that it is raining heavily. So uh, I know I don't know what to pay. Excellent. Is it all what to pay? Is it? Chris, that don't have a let meaning. لا يا لا إديوم 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 هي ال 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 words let me tell you maybe I'm معلش راف because you joined a little bit late so إديوم هي phrases that do not have literal meaning they have يعني they give you another meaning طيب ال onomatopoeia أنا onomatopoeia على طول يا حبيبي هو sound sound okay so again I think the onomatopoeia is the sound. Alliteration, repetition, but uh, the beginning sound, the one letter. An oxymoron here, two opposite words. A personification giving human characteristics to non living thing. A hyperbole, poly, extreme exaggeration. A idiom here, phrases that do not have a literal meaning. Metaphor. Comparing two things, but they do not use the word like or as. Similarly, using like or as. Comparing two things, using like or as. So now we finish this. Your score is eight, mashallah. Let's go to another activity game, but related to this uh, um, lesson. It's nice as well, but uh, it's a different. Uh, Type of uh, uh, okay. okay, yeah, let's start. Okay, this coffee shop is an ice box. What do you think? Is it personification, simile? Onomatopoeia or metaphor? Who wants to answer? Who 
Um, it's a metaphor. Uh, that's just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, this got yeah. Who said it's metaphor? It's uh, no it's huh? Excellent. Yeah. This coffee shop is an ice box. He is comparing or she's comparing this coffee shop to an ice box. She doesn't doesn't use um she didn't use lol as or like so it's metaphor excellent okay. must must I ask you a question? How can you know it's a metaphor or you know the one dramatic one? I just Which can't one? remember. Uh yeah, it's hyperbody. Ah okay. A metaphor is totally different than the hyperbole. I've told you a million times to clean your room. Can I tell you a million times to clean your room? This is exaggeration. This is, يعني, this uh, is not. I think Mubalga. Mubalga. I'm a little bit. Hey, Prabal. Hey, I know. Is, hey, Prabal. Yes, excellent, Yarahaf. This is what we call hyperbole. It's something that is, it, it, it can be real. When I tell you, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, as I told you before, um, if you will not stop annoying your brother, I will, uh, uh, I will kill you. This is exaggeration. No more. يعني إيه how come يعني I will kill you if I if you يعني if you didn't do anything so, yeah, this is uh, that's what we call hyperbole it's something that uh, overreacting okay so this is hyperbole okay. I move fast like a cheetah on the Serenity, like. Okay. What do you it's think? It's simile. It's simile. Excellent. This is Noor that said it? And Rahaf. Okay. Yalla Muhammad. The sky misses the sun at night. What do you think? Metaphor, simile, hyperbole, or personification? Hyperbole. I'm a human. I do miss people, and uh, people do miss me. A personification. Yes, because this is a son is not a human. Yani uh, to to miss someone. So this is personification. It's not Habib. Yes, she's drowning in a sea of grief. Simile, personification, metaphor, or onomatopoeia. Who can answer? Yes, I just forgot what's an onomatopoeia. Okay, onomatopoeia is the sound. Onomatopoeia, Demile, you have to find the sound in the sentence. Personification, giving the um. Uh, l l characteristic of a human to non-living thing. Similarly, when you compare two things together, but they uh, use it, yes, using yeah. like or as. Metaphor, yes, comparing yeah. two things together, not using a like or as. Excellent. Okay. She is as happy as a clown. Similar okay. answer. They may be perfect. The sea lashed out in anger at the ships, unwilling to tolerate another battle. What do you think? Metaphor, simile, personification, or hyperbole? Personification. Noor with all personification. Muhammad, what do you say? Personification because it said in anger. Excellent. Both of you are excellent. Well, I'm totally know that inshallah uh, she knows it. Because you can get angry. Inshallah, you never get angry. Uh, uh, humans do get angry, but uh, el, el, yani, he gave the characteristic of uh, humans to 
non living thing اللي هو الايه الc so it's personification the sun played hide and seek with the clouds يلا رهوفة personification so this is yes person personification uh, the sun played hide and seek uh, with the clouds yes because the sun cannot play we we do play this one it can come both huh you snore sometimes when your father sleeps he snores this is snoring you snore louder than a fried train so what snore? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. yani, what will it be? Metaphor, hyperbole, simile, or personification? Personification and matter. Both are right. Excellent. Only personification, it's right. If you decide to say metaphor, it's right. But here they made it like metaphor. Right. Right. Yes. The bees are buzzing around me. Noor. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia, excellent. It's sound here. Okay. This is the worst day of my life. Metaphor, simile, hyperbole, or personification? Hyperbole. Hyper hyperbole. Hyperbole, excellent. Yeah, yeah, Rahaf. Perfect. Okay, the trees are singing in the wind, Muhammad. Uh, personification. Personification. Ana Asfah, baby. It's a personification. Excellent. Personification. So your score is full, mashallah, full score. Okay, now let's go to another thing. Okay, let's go to do another thing. Yeah. Okay. We finished the figurative language uh, with two uh, uh, two exercises. Now let's do another thing, which is how to hook the reader. Um. Do you see the screen? How do you see how to hook the reader in front of you? I don't think so. Let me show you. Oh, we can see the screen. Okay. Okay. Look, Haina Habibi. Let me tell you that this PowerPoint will uh, will help you a lot, a lot. Give me just one second. I'm getting uh, I'm getting it adjusted. Just one second. One second. Uh, I'll be with you, Helen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> Let me tell you, Habibi, when you start to write always, you have to write with a certain technique. Yani, Taman, you know that we have lots and lots of types of writing. We have the narrative writing, our narrative writing. We have the informative one. We have the persuasive, the argumentative writing. We have the personal, like the biography, autobiography, the, like the diary. We have uh, a, a newspaper report. We have articles. We have we have lots and lots of types of writing, okay? Each type has certain features you have to follow. From today, now I will show you something which will benefit you in all types of writing. Yani, you should use this. In any type of writing should have three components. I will show you right now. The introduction, the body paragraphs, will uh, the conclusion. 
Okay, to start always your introduction, you should grab the teacher's attention. Okay, so through this PowerPoint, I'm going to teach you one way to improve your essay writing, inshallah, and show you how to write an excellent hook. What's a hook, yeah, teacher? What do you mean by a hook? Ali, but before we start, let me tell you that making a great hook at the beginning of a, your essay is a great way to take your essay to the next level. Yani, making a hook, yani, grabbing the teacher's attention. How you um, make your writing yani, very interesting so she can read or he can read to the, uh, keeps on reading to the very last letter uh, of your writing. So a hook starts your introduction, Diamond. So it is, inshallah, for the PowerPoint, uh, you will know what is a hook, and why it is important. Yeah, let's start, Habaybi. I just mentioned that any writing should start with an introduction, where body paragraphs or conclusion. And if in narrative writing, you have five body paragraphs, not three. For most of the um, uh, types, you have three body paragraphs. Some of the types, like descriptive essay, it has only two body paragraphs and so on. So um, let's let me first of all tell you how to write an excellent hook. El hook diamond, it's in the introduction, Habibi. Okay, so what is a hook? Who wants to read? Who wants to read, Habibi? I can. Yes, read. Uh, what is a hook? One, it's the first part of your essay. Two, it's usually one to four sentences long. Three, it catch the reader's attention. Uh, four, it's, it sets the tone of your essay, interesting or boring. Excellent. So a hook is the first part of your essay. It is usually between one to four sentences long. And the purpose of this hook is to catch the reader's attention. Hook makes your reader curious to, and she or he wants to know more about what you, you, yeah, what you wrote. And he or she will be interested to complete reading your essay. The kulida from the hook. The hook is important because it's the first thing that the reader reads. How will hack? So if you can write a good hook, it sets the tone of your essay. It sets the tone of your essay. Okay. The hook is something like a reflexive. If your essay will be interesting or boring, well, good hooks attract the reader's attention, engages them to. Uh, complete reading your essay to the last line. So that's why a hook can do, do it for you. The hook is very important. Let's see. Ways to write a good hook. You can start with an, an interesting question. You can start with a story. You can start with a shocking statistic. I will tell you what is a shocking statistic right now. You can start with a quote or an unexpected statement. So these five ways, you can start with anyone to just hook the reader. Okay, let's see. I chose a topic. This topic is called reasons that people immigrate. This is the topic of my Muslim writing, immigrate. Do you know what's immigrate? Who knows what's immigrate? Do you know I what's think immigrate? Hmm? Just leaving a country, um, mm -hmm. like yani, going from a country to another country. I just can't remember why, but I think excellent, because... Excellent, 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 honey. To leave your own country, your country of birth, and just go to live in another country for good just to because you, you want to um, have a um, good opportunity for work you want to uh, live a better life 
a better um, um, يعني, you see, you to educate yourself عارفين الهجرة this is immigration ف this is the topic that I will use these five topic دي حبيبي reasons that people immigrate this is the topic of my writing خلاص دلوقتي I will use these five شايفين هنا I will use these five five eight five types of hooks on this topic على topic ده why just to show you how you can hook the reader if you have a topic like this let's let's start reasons that people immigrate I will start with the first hook that most of the people use an interesting question yeah Emigrating is not so easy. So why do people choose to leave their homes? If you start that like this, you will definitely grab the teacher's attention. Or another question, have you ever thought of leaving your life behind and moving to another country? So this is a kind of um, grabbing the teacher's attention by using an interesting question at the first of your uh, essay writing. Again, we will use the same topic, but to tell a story. And you tell a story. I told you before that we have an interesting question. I just showed it to you. A story. How can I write a short story at the beginning of my um, essay writing or my introduction? to grab the teacher's attention, the second hook is they, let me show you. Tell a story. I will never forget the day. I was sitting in a pl plane, looking down the window and watching my hometown become smaller and smaller. I looked at my mother and saw tears in her eyes. We were on our way to Canada for a new life. But at that moment, we were not excited. We were dejected. Dejected, yani it means feeling sad, sorrow. We were uh, devastated. Okay, so this is, I put a small story, just like to hook the reader at the beginning of my writing. Ala kul and five types of hooks, okay? Now, the same topic, I will use it to um, use the third uh, hook, which is called a shocking statistic. Yani iba a teacher. Do you know what's shocking? <laughs> what's shocking? Oh my God. Huh? When you get shocked of something unbelievable, something that is unbelievable, you uh, more super surprised, okay? So shocked, it means you do not believe your eyes or your ears, okay? Shocking. Statistic, it means number. When you put a huge or massive number, in your um, introduction, like uh, yani, um, using a lower shocking statistic as a hook, it will grab the teacher's attention. Like here, every year, more than 1 million people immigrate to the United States. 1 million people, million, every year they immigrate to the United States. So see how uh, massive this number is, statistic. Can I put something from my mind? No. The thing, yani, if you will use the shocking statistic, you should fix to facts. Doesn't hot fact. I just put a number from just my mind. No, you have to put a fact. If I don't know, don't use this. If you don't know a fact about, uh, yani, don't use the shocking statistic uh, hook ever. Listen here. 260 million people now live outside their country of birth. 
260 million people live out, uh, outside their country of birth. This is a huge, massive number. Okay, so this is, and again, a shocking statistic number, and it should be fact. Let's go to the fourth type, a quote or a proverb. Uh, do you know, Habibi, el, el, sometimes um, famous people, they just leave something called um, a quote. A quote that be an inspiration saying. Um, some of the words to inspire people and encourage them or uh, leave their impact on them uh, to just influence you, to just um, make you get emotional, okay? The quote, it should, يعني, the saying that should be between uh, speech marks because it's a saying of uh, a famous person. Well, the usage بتاع, to, to inspire people. Okay. If I don't know any quotes yet, it should, don't use this. Okay? Oh, and I'm a quote. I listen a quote that I'll bring. I should it should be known. And listen, uh, uh, he, uh, مثلا طه حسين لما قال لو 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 لم اكن مصريا لوددت ان اكون مصريا دي اتس ا كوت اوكي وكانت معروفه جدا اوكي ذس از ذس از ا كوت ا فيموس كوت ستاند باي ا فيموس بيرسون تو شو ذات هي يعني هي لافز هيز يعني لافز هيز كونتري سو ماتش اند هيز فيري براود تو بي ايجيبشن اوكي سو ذس از ا كوت تايم We just write the code. Can I leave? No. You have to write the code and explain what does it mean. And if you know the name of the, the writer, you should mention him or her. I put no one leaves home unless home is a mouth of a shark. This quote, which was written by a famous writer whose family left their country when she was a baby, reflects how difficult it is for people to leave their home uh, home country, okay? So here I explained this quote. I said that it was written by a famous writer. I didn't mention her name. I said that she left the, the country when she was a baby with her parents. And um, this, uh, this quote shows that it's really hard for people to leave their country of birth. So just don't just drop the quote and yeah, the complete button. And after Damon El Hook Habibi, there is something called a background, then there is something called a thesis statement. El hook, a background with thesis statement, they should be in the introduction. So you have to, after putting the quote, you have to explain it first of all. <coughs> the last thing, an yeah, unexpected statement, a statement that no one expects that you say it. Yani, let me tell you, Masalan, suppose that Masalan, your parents now, they told you, Yalla, we have three weeks vacation. We will go to Masalan, France, or Italy, or Masalan, Japan, or any place, okay? Or the USA. So for two weeks, خلاص, you prepared yourself, you're uh, very excited, uh, you will go there and spend um, the best days ever. Well, that happens actually, and they are only two weeks. You will go sightseeing, you will see places that you never saw before, you will meet, um, you will you know, get to know different cultures, you will taste um, new uh, yeah, new food where we will have new experience okay you will see different people but of course the experience will be really different for the people who are just going or spending two or three weeks maximum but if you will live forever in this country your eyes will not only catch a little positive points best you will start to find yani or catch also as well the defects and negative points 
when most people think of Canada, they imagine, yeah, Canada, yeah, they imagine sandy beaches and tall wood trees. But for most immigrants living there, Canada looks very different. Liba, he's living there for forever. So there, there are lots of defects there. But for, for the people who are going for a limited time, then we should okay? So this is called an unexpected statement, okay? So these are the five types how to hook the reader. And you can use an interesting question. And this is the most thing that most students use because it's the easiest will story as well because it, it always introduces the setting yani where and when did it take place the story shocking statistic you have to put a fact if you don't know anything about what you will write don't use this a quote an unexpected statement so this is uh, one of the powerpoints that i think will benefit you when you start to write a any um, uh, writing, inshallah. Okay, so let's go to another thing. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, baby. How to hook the reader. Okay, so let's go to uh, just a minute to the um, uh, vocabulary. We will. I will introduce 10 new vocabulary words. I'm sure that you know some of them, others you don't know. Let's, let me show you how will I introduce them to you. I'm sure that they will benefit you if you use them uh, while writing. Mm, in, in writing, it, it needs lots of vocabulary words. So I'm sure that these 10 words will help you a lot. Um, خليني بس أشوف يو ال 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 PowerPoint. Then we will make two um two yeah two um activity games on them. Then after this we will make a reading passage. Okay, حبيبي. So let's start. Okay. Uh, يلا حبيبي. I will share the screen right now. I stop sharing. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's start. Do you see the screen? Yeah. Do you see the screen? Maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. We have here the word roguish. Roguish. Eloquent, eloquent, uh, diligently, dig, diligently, emotional. I'm sure that all of you knows uh, know what's emotion, emotional person, emotional, emotional, gulping, gulping, immune, immune, restricted. Restricted, this is easy as well. Adorable, and I'm sure that you, all of you know what's adorable. Adorable, adorable, suspense, suspense, deceiving, deceiving. So let's start. Okay. Okay, roguish. Can you see this picture? What is this boy doing? He's taking a test. Can you see what is he doing? What is he doing? What do you think? Hi, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes. Uh, what do you think he's doing? This boy. Cheating. Yeah, he's cheating. But can you read the sentence, Ya Muhammad? Muhammad, do you hear me? Your response is shakla uh, lagging, you don't hear me well. 
Habibi, do you hear me? Yes, sorry, my internet was bad. Uh huh. Type. Um. Who hears me well? Yani, can, who can read the sentence? I want. I need someone to read the sentence. Only reading. His erratic attitude was unacceptable. Yes, his roguish attitude was unacceptable. What do you think roguish means? From the picture, from the it's, sentence, did you get it? What does it mean? It means a uh, uh, cheating. Yeah, he's doing something which is a. Uh, Is always I'm getting the word with a picture to clarify the meaning and I'm putting the word in a sentence to just again clarify the meaning of the word and the second slide I put what part of speech is this word I put the synonym I put the antonym and I put the definition roguish it's an adjective habibi Adjective, a synonym of it is dishonest person. He's dishonest person. He's a, he's untrustworthy person. He's doing something which is bad. An antonym betaita, it's serious, to be serious. A definition, characteristic of a mischievous, playful person. Characteristic of a mischievous, playful person, yani a bad person, a, a, he's not good. He's doing something bad. He's a, he's a dishonest person. Uh, he's a cheater, as Rahaf said. Yeah, let's see the one after. Eloquent. Eloquent person. Um, neither, I mean, Noor always, I mean, eloquent. يلا um, I need محمد ريد يا محمد eloquent ها ah. eloquent I heard him make a very eloquent speech on the stage excellent I heard him make a very eloquent speech on the stage what do you think eloquent means ah. When someone is very uh, yeah, well a... huh. he make um, he saying uh, something. Okay. Complete. Saying something. Eloquent. It means fluently. Yani he's very well prepared. Okay, he knows everything. He's not, um, he, he's, pre, uh, yani, he's very self-confident. Let me show you. Eloquent, it's an adjective. This is the part of speech. This word is an adjective. A synonym of it is expressive. Yani, he's very well prepared. He's fluent. He knows everything. An antonym, it means the opposite. Yani, disappoint. Uh, this passionate is not prepared. The meaning the definition fluent in speaking or writing. He is fluent in speaking and writing. This is what we call eloquent, fluent in speaking and writing. Okay, so eloquent is fluent in speaking and writing. Right, let's see this diligently, diligently. يلا يا رهوفة ريد حبيبتي هي هي speaks هي speaks هي spends his night diligently working on his assignments assignments يعني الهومورك يا قلبي Assignments, it means the homework. He spends his night diligently working on his assignments, on his homework. So what do you think diligently mean? Is he hard worker or a lazy boy? 
What do you think? Hard working. Yes, hard working person. Let me show you. Diligently, it's an adverb. Okay, it's synonym eagerly. An antonym inactively. Showing care and effort in your work or in all duties. To show care and effort. To show care and effort. He's a hard worker. So this is called diligently. <coughs> okay. Emotional. Yalla Muhammad. Read please. He was very emotional. She cried when her son left for another city. Excellent. So she was very emotional. <coughs> I'm sorry. She cried when her son left for another city. <laughs> I'm sorry. But emotional, it means very e. What do you think? Hmm. What's emotion? Very sensitive person. To be very sensitive. Yes. Yes, yeah, Muhammad. Excellent. It's an adjective. I want an emotions that a synonym that had responded relating to a person's feeling. Yani to be very sensitive. Respond uh, sensitive, okay? Relating to a person's feeling. Okay, yes. Okay, gulping. Yalla Rahufa. Out. Hmm. Out of. Out of hunger. Huh? He was gulping down his huh? food, eating quickly, eating quickly. Huh? I will make something excellent. Yeah, out of hunger, he was. Uh. Uh. Can can you give me one second? One second. I will mute for one second. Yes. Okay. Just a minute. Okay, I'm sorry, Habibi. Okay, gulping, excellent, Yarahaf. Out of hunger, he was gulping down his food. So gulping, it means eating very fast. Okay, a verb, this is a verb, okay? Uh, uh, gulping is a verb, it's a synonym, breathless. Breathless, yani, he's not taking his breath, to just uh, يعني, enjoy the food, no. To swallow quickly and greedily, بنهم, okay? So this is gulping. Yeah, Muhammad, immune. Yeah, read. He is immune to smallpox as a result of vaccination. Excellent. He is immune to smallpox. Uh, as a result of uh, Miss Wonder, uh, uh, vaccination, do you know? Do you remember when uh, the the our experience in the um, corona? Do you remember? So, يعني كانوا بيقولنا دائما when you take the vaccination, you will be I have immunity. What's immunity? What's immune? Now, what do you think? Me. Yeah, what's immune? To be resistant. Excellent, excellent, excellent. He Most is immune to a few resistance. Excellent. Uh, um, it's an adjective, a synonym, yani non reaction. Safe from danger or attack. Safe from danger or attack, okay? Safe from danger or attack. This is the um, immune, okay? Perfect. And the resistance. 
بيرفكت حبيبي يلا امر رهف ريستريكتد واتس ريستريكتد كان يو ريد اوكي وان مان access to the in resist restricted to men can see it well okay that would let me help you have you see i will uh, show it to you here Access to the club is restricted to members only. Okay, if you club here, what I'm saying, access, meaning to enter the club, it is restricted to members only. What's restricted? Don't make, don't. Can I see the meaning? I'm sure the meaning. I just want you to guess. The first. What's restricted? I will show you the meaning right now, Habibti. I just want you to guess it. Huh? It don't make this and don't go to the club. Excellent. Uh, yeah, allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Thank you. Not allowed. Okay, so it's an adjective. A synonym confined, an antonym unlimited. To keep a person or thing within limit, يعني not allowed. Keep a person or thing within limit, يعني not allowed. Okay, yall. <clears throat> adorable. Can you see? Oh, what an adorable twins they are. Who can tell me what does the word adorable mean? Like each other? No. When I say, listen, suppose that I see your lovely face and tell you, you look adorable. What is adorable? Hmm. Muhammad, what's adorable? To be friendly. When I say you look adorable, it means you look amazing, you look gorgeous, you look fantastic. What's adorable? And all the words that I just oh, mentioned it means adorable. Adorable it means gorgeous, fantastic, amazing, remarkable, raw air. It's an adjective. It means attractive. Okay, extremely charming, and very beautiful. Okay. Extremely charming, attractive. So this is adorable. Okay. <clears throat> uh, suspense. Suspense. We waited in great suspense for the doctor's opinion. What's suspense? Who can tell me? Uh, Ahmed, do you know what suspense? To be uh, tense. What? Yes. Let me show you. Okay, first of all, it's a noun. Suspense, you need to be eager to know. You want to know eagerly. Well, antonym calmness, a state of anxious uncertainly. A state of anxious, yani to be anxious, yani to be very worried. Anxious, yani very worried. I feel ln. Anxious means ln. Yani very worried, uncertainly. Mm -hmm. So this is called suspense. Let's okay. On the lesson finish. Uh. Okay, uh, you're asking when will it finish? Um, oops, I'm sorry, my mobile phone fell down. Uh, it will finish after quarter of an hour, Habibi. After this, we will make a an exercise, and uh, you can leave. Okay. Yeah, deceive. What's deceive? 
can you read? Uh, Muhammad, can you read, please? Muhammad, can you read? He is deceiving his friend with the fake smile. Yeah. He is uh, lying. Excellent. He is deceiving his friend with a fake smile. So deceive, to deceive someone, it's, it's the verb. Aloha. <clears throat> Synonym, it's to mislead. Al antonym here actual. Okay. Uh Taib. Um Taib. Okay. And to make someone believe something that is not true. Make you believe that something is not true. Yani he's with has two double yeah, he has a double face. Okay. So he's deceiving you. Here, this is this was the last word. Let's now go back. Okay, here. Um, I don't know who's here. Let me check. Um, Muhammad Urahaf. If any one of you has a cell phone. Please take a screenshot, please, from the, the screen. I will tell you why. You need to take a screenshot. Could we read screenshot from this uh, uh, slide? Miss, can you wait a minute? Yes, of course. You will bring your cell phone or your mother's. I'm waiting, honey. Yeah. yeah. Muhammad, did you take a screenshot? I am using my laptop. I can't. لا, take with your cell phone. The mobile بتاعك, uh, take a screenshot. I take it. Yes, you took a screenshot, honey? Yes. Yeah. And another screenshot from this one. Yeah, take a, a screenshot. Um, maybe Muhammad is back. Yeah. Muhammad, take a screenshot from uh, this one and the previous one, please. Thank you. Emma, did you take? Hmm. Emma, did you take a screenshot? You know why I'm asking you to take a screenshot? Because I, we will make an exercise now and you need to to uh, uh, yani have the uh, words in front of you. Okay, so. Okay, Hina, screenshot it, Tania. Okay, here, Taib. Hina, Hina, Olna, roguish, to be like a, a cheater, a yani a mischievous, uh, playful person. Here, it, eloquent, yani, um, to be um, fluent in speaking or writing. Okay, this is eloquent. Diligently, it means he's just, um, yani, to be to be hard worker person. Okay, showing care and effort in everything. Diligent, diligently, emotional, uh, um, to be uh, sensitive. Okay. We're relating to person's uh, feelings. Wahina, gulping, it means eating greedily. Okay, swallowing uh, very quickly. Wahina, Can I ask a question? Yes, Habibti. 
Glipping, uh, eating, eating, eating uh, only, or, or anything properly. Again, again. Again, you know. Gulping is for, gulping is for, for eating only or anything. No, no, no. Gulping, it, it means eating, but uh, eating very fast without stopping. Okay, مش بس eating عادي مش eating العادي يا قلبي يعني eating بنهم عارفة لما يكون حد جعان أو عمال يقلق Okay, so this is what okay. we call gulping immune اللي هي ال to feel to be safe restricted اللي هو uh, to be uh, to keep a person or thing within a limit و um, adorable, yani charming, um, extremely charming. Wa uh, in a suspense, it means <coughs> to be anxious, anxious. And the last thing to deceive someone is to mislead or believe that something is not true. Okay. Yeah. Now I will let you make. Okay, just a minute, give me one second. Uh, I will show you again. Okay. I need this, uh, to take a screenshot from the words as well. Um, after this, uh, just a minute, stop sharing. And let's go to the okay. Then after this, you can leave the LP. Yalla Rahofa. Okay. No, not this one. Not this one. I will uh, bring someone to something else. I mean, just a minute. Give me one second. Second, you know. Okay. <clears throat> one second, sweetheart is of the hand. Okay. Once it opens, I will uh, share the screen. Uh, yeah, it opened ahead. Okay. I will share the screen with you right now. And after this, you can go. After we finish it, we will finish it fast. Yeah. Do you see the screen here off? Yes. Yeah, let's spin it. Okay. A state of anxious uncertainty, to be very worried. What do you think? Can you give me the word? You took screenshots, Fakra. You took screenshots. That's why I told you to take a screenshot. Which word means uh, a state of anxious uh, uncertainty, to, be, to feel worried? A state of... A state of anxious. What can you give me a word that means a state of uh, uh, anxious uncertainty? Shouldn't you have screenshots? Just look to the words and give me a word that means the same. Yani, I'm taking a definition and I want you to give me the word. Okay. Yeah. Look in the words. I'm looking at, it. but but uh, there is a word. Uh, don't I can't see it. Okay, I will help you with this suspense, suspense. So when you uh, um, yeah, suspense it means a state of a of being anxious. Let's see here. 
fluent in speaking or working or writing. You will find it in the first slide. Uh, you took a screenshot from two slides, yes? It's in the first slide. Yes. Fluent in speaking or writing. Yeah, okay, I'll see it. Yeah, later. It starts with the uh, E. Yes, yes. Elliot, I can't see it, but. Eloquent. Eloquent. No. Eloquent no. It means fluent in speaking or writing. Eloquent. Okay. Right. Let's see another word. Okay. Extremely charming. You remember the two boys that look like each other? Yes. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'll see the picture. Yes, waiting for you, Abit. Adorable. Excellent. Excellent. Adorable. Perfect. Yes. Relating to a person's feeling, I mean, uh, very sensitive, and anything can let him cry or her cry. He's very sensitive. He's very, uh, can easily be broken. Can Suspense. Easily... Eh? So do you think? Emotional. Hey, okay. The emotional. Perfect. <laughs> Showing care and effort in your work or duties. To be work uh, to be hard worker. See in the first slide. Okay. Amun. No. In the first slide, the first slide, this is the first slide. Yeah. We see what diligently, diligently is showing care and effort in your work or duties. Diligently, okay, diligently. Let's spend once more. To swallow food quickly or greedy. To swallow food quickly or greedy. You just asked me about this word one minute ago. Yes, I'll say it now. Gal yes, yes. Gulp. Gulping. Gulp. Excellent. Gulp. Yes. To be safe from danger or attack. When you take the vaccination, the vaccine, you are safe from danger or attack. Okay. Re re res no. no. Okay. When you took and take the vaccination, you will be totally immune. 
اميون يعني ايه سيف يعني محصنه سيف بيكوز يو توك ذا فاكسينيشن تو ميك سم ون بيليف سمثينج ذات از نوت ترو يعني هاز دبل فيس start with r no starts with d what d yes this word is uh, i can't see it uh, on this uh... well okay it's deceiving when you no, deceive no. someone yani you show something that is not uh, really inside you okay we have two more words uh, characteristics of a mischievous playful person yani a cheater what is this roguish roguish excellent ya yeah, amor the last word which to keep a person or thing within limit hmm. يعني not Stop. allowing it starts with R restricted restricted excellent حبيبتي excellent thank you so much um, I want to tell you something thank you for being so uh, nice and uh, staying to the very end of the class وخلص we got to the end of the class so I hope that uh, uh, يعني you got um, had a slight benefit for, from it well you did a great job well, thank you so much you have it you know. okay you can leave now a bit. it's uh, it's already done thank you so much do you want to ask any questions no thanks okay uh, yeah bye Miss, can I ask uh, I I forget this the 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 word that I can see it in the screenshot. Can you can you say to me? Uh, I said to you that I can see it. Okay, you want me to bring it back so you can take a screenshot. Yes. Harder. Give me one second. One second, I'm getting you the screen. Not because uh, I closed it. But, uh, it's really you were in grade six, you know? I'm going to grade six. Mm -hmm. It's here, have you? Not this. Okay. Uh, I will bring you both. Yeah, roguish, or eloquent, or diligently, or emotional, or gulping. What? Immune, restricted, adorable, suspense, or deceiving. One minute. Thank you. You're welcome, Hamid. Thank you so much, Sharaf. Yeah, bye. 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 Bye.